Hello viewers. Welcome to Seek Wisdom. Today in this video, we present you the summary of the book, Hero, written by Rhonda Byrne. This is the fourth book in the series, The Secret. This book provides you with the secret map to a rich life. It will help you to know what is your true calling and why aren't you already living it? It follows life of 12 most successful people, using their lessons to overcome obstacles and to make impossible dreams come true. Since our motto is not to compromise with quality of content. So duration of this video is a bit larger. Hope you like it. Let's get started. This book is about a story that has changed the life of many throughout the history. The story is about a hero who undertakes a courageous journey on planet Earth. The setting of planet Earth is an exquisitely beautiful one, filled with vast oceans, mountains, jungles, breathtaking coastlines, sweeping plains, and spectacular animals and creatures of every kind. But as the hero discovers, life is also very challenging for human beings on Earth. Growth is painful. There is both joy and suffering on planet Earth. There is an opposite side to everything. And it's this world with its equal potential for great joy, great love, great challenges, and great suffering that you wanted to come to. You were born with immensely powerful abilities within you that would enable you to realize your dreams and overcome every trial, obstacle, and challenge you would encounter. But in being born into the limited material world of planet Earth, your mind and consciousness became limited to you wouldn't remember the powerful abilities within you. You would have to discover them for yourself through completing the hero's journey. With the invaluable wisdom you're about to receive, you will be able to fulfill your dream and find the true and lasting happiness. No matter where you are in your life, no matter what age you are, it is never too late to follow your dream. The tougher the circumstances are in our life, the more of those circumstances will act as a catalyst in propelling us to find our dream. Those unfavorable circumstances provide you with a burning desire. When you find that burning desire, you've found a powerful force that can cut through seemingly impossible circumstances and limitations. Every single person who has ever been born or ever will be born comes with some unique talent or ability. It's this special thing about you that is your calling. Your calling is something that moves you like nothing else in life. It's something you're attracted to and it fills you with joy and sets your heart on fire when you do it. You might have received the call in what seemed like an everyday moment, through something you saw, read, or heard. Suddenly something hit you like a bolt of lightning, and an ordinary moment becomes the defining moment of your life. No life circumstances are 100% negative. In every negative circumstance, there is something good buried within every seemingly bad situation. Life is not about the negative circumstances that happen to you, it's about what you do with the golden opportunities hidden within. When you refuse the call from life to follow your dreams, you run the risk of living an unfulfilled and unhappy life. No matter what you do, and no matter what material things you acquire along the way, if you don't do the things that make your heart sing you will feel an overwhelming sense of dissatisfaction and regret when you get to the end of your life. Responding to your calling and deciding to follow your dreams is actually the easy way. You might think that you don't have time to follow your dreams. Know that life is short. If you don't do it now, you will keep putting it off, and you'll never do it. The time is now. You might be afraid to go after what you want in life because you think you could fail. But remember that you will never receive the call to follow a dream unless you have the wherewithal to accomplish that dream and turn it into a reality. Being in the current situation gives us a feeling of security. But don't let money and security dictate your choices in life. Life continually changes. Companies change hands, go bankrupt, jobs are lost, or economic collapse brings about massive cutbacks. Real security means knowing there is no security, because then you will make sure you live every day of your life to the fullest. If accruing material things were our purpose in life, we would be able to take them with us when we leave. They are part of the joy of living on earth, but not the purpose of our life. The irony is that when you do choose to follow your dreams over security, you will have it all, material riches and a rich, 
fulfilling life. Try and let go of the opinions, beliefs, and conclusions you have about yourself, because they're the very things that have prevented you from seeing your dream. Ask questions about your purpose. When you ask, the universe will transmit the answer to you. Before you ask any question, get yourself relaxed and in a calm state of mind. Then simply ask a question, like, what is my purpose in life? Don't try and answer the question with your mind, but leave the question hanging in the air. Remain quiet for a minute, pay attention to anything that comes to you, and then take particular notice of what you're inspired to do during the day. The answer will come into your mind in a flash, most likely when you're focused on something else altogether. Even if you don't know yet what your dream is, there's something you can do right now, give your best to whatever you're currently doing. By doing this you will actually become bigger than your current job, and in time, doors will open to lead you to the perfect fit of your dream. Another extremely simple piece of advice that if followed, will positively lead you to your dream, is to follow your bliss. Bliss is how you feel when you do something you absolutely love to do, and it is a thread that's connected to your dreams. So when you follow your bliss you also find your dreams, and fulfill your reason for being here. This alarming increase of mental health problems is the evidence of people not following their bliss. Resist the temptation to try and please anyone, and be true to yourself. There are so many things you can start doing now to follow your bliss. Take a free course on what you would love to do. Use the internet, social media, write blogs, and do research. What have you always had the desire to do? Follow that urge. To believe in yourself is perhaps the most powerful hero ability you have available to you. Your belief will carry you through every difficult situation. The only reason you don't believe in yourself is because you've inadvertently thought your way into not believing in yourself. And the only way you have maintained that lack of belief has been through your own continuing thoughts about yourself, your self-talk. The way to change a lack of belief is very simple. Begin thinking the opposite thoughts to what you've been thinking about yourself, that you can do it, and that you have everything within you to do it. Remind yourself that all you need to do is take one step at a time. As you think thoughts that you can achieve your dream, you will change the program in your subconscious mind. You may face resistance in beginning, but as you keep planting the thought that you can do it, eventually those thoughts will become a belief, and you will have changed the program. Do this when you're falling asleep at night. When you're in that very sleepy state of being half asleep and half awake, once your subconscious mind has a new program of believing, you will suddenly find new people in your life who believe in you, or new support from people already in your life, and you will feel inspired to take action that prove your own abilities and increase your self-belief. Next step on this journey is visualizing. The most important part of creating a vision is that you get a picture in your mind of the end result. Get every other detail out of your mind of how you're going to achieve it, and just see the end result of your dream. Write notes about your dream, your mind automatically forms a vision from your notes. You can use visualization for any situation you want to go well. You can visualize the outcome of exams, auditions, interviews, meetings, pitches, proposals etc. When you use visualization successfully, the people around you will wonder how it can be that all of a sudden everything is going your way. Next comes the mind of a hero. Your attitude is of your own creation. And it can be your biggest undoing or your most powerful tool. Your thoughts form your attitude, and so the first step in changing your attitude is to take responsibility for your own thoughts. You simply can't look to outside circumstances to dictate what kind of attitude you will have. If you do, you will always find a circumstance or a person that will give you a reason to have a negative attitude. In order to become your most powerful tool, your attitude must be dictated from within. You have the freedom to choose to be optimistic or pessimistic. A pessimistic attitude toward life means a miserable life. On the other hand, if you've known someone who is always up and has a cheerful and bright attitude toward life, his company will make you also feel fantastic and full of life. And that's what an optimistic attitude does to you. Blame.
Resentment, whining, and complaining are excuses we make when we're not living the life we came here to live. A positive and optimistic attitude doesn't mean you don't have occasional down days. If you're feeling down, then do something that makes you feel really good and lifts your spirits. The mind of a hero is a predominantly positive mind. At different times on a hero's journey you will experience emotions like fear, uncertainty, doubt, joy, passion, hope, and belief. Just because someone is successful doesn't mean they didn't experience the same feelings of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. It is just they didn't allow their fear or doubt to paralyze them from achieving their dream. You can slay these monsters of doubt and fear by moving out of your comfort zone, thereby developing courage. As you build courage you'll find that things you once thought were scary don't seem as scary at all. There will be certain times on the hero's journey when you're called upon to take a risk. If you're scared but you feel it's the right step to take, go ahead and take it. However, when in doubt, don't act. Gratitude is essential on the hero's journey. The way to smooth journey, and to experience miraculous circumstances, is with gratitude. You can lessen and actually dissolve all manner of seemingly negative situations, like challenges, obstacles, and problems, through gratitude. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. Intuition is a flash of knowledge that comes with a very strong and compelling feeling when we receive it. The feeling urges us to go a particular way with something happening in our lives, or sometimes to not go a particular way. While science hasn't yet discovered what our intuition is or where it comes from, in ancient teachings it's revealed that your intuition is communication from the universe. You might have unknowingly shut down your intuition, as many of us have, but you can reawaken your intuitive abilities. When you ask a question you receive the answer through your intuition. You can start with easy questions where you know you will see the confirmation of the answer quickly. In this way, you can awaken your intuition and will start to get more and more intuitive urges. Next is the way of the hero. You can never find true happiness if you treat other people badly. If you treat people kindly, no matter what the circumstances, the universe will return the kindness to you. It's simply the way life works for every one of us. So the way of the hero is one of kindness and humility. Our behavior will either be stepping stones that propel us forward on our journey to our dream, or stepping stones that take us backward. The choice is ours. Next step is commitment. The right time is never in the future. It is now. And your full commitment is the cue that opens the doors to your dream. Until you make a commitment, you will only see walls. Next is determination. Determination is part of your very nature. You have it within you, and you can find it again. If you have a burning desire for your dream, then you will have all the determination you need to make it a reality. Determination also arises out of your belief in yourself. Joyful blissful feeling is one of the highest and most powerful human emotions you have, so when you're full of joy you are also full of determination. However, many people give up on their dreams because from where they are standing they can't see the whole path to their dream. No successful person has ever known how his or her dream would happen. They simply believed that it would happen, and did not give up until it had. The path to your dreams is like being in a labyrinth. All you can see is the next few feet ahead of you. Remind yourself that one step at a time is all you need to take. And no matter where you find yourself or in what situation, you can always take one step. And, just like being in a labyrinth, one day you turn a corner, and suddenly you've arrived. During your journey, you have to face a lot of naysayers. They're the proof that you can do it. The effect naysayers have is up to you. It's your choice how to react to them. If you allow one naysayer to get to you you'll open yourself up to being affected by more naysayers, so don't let them bother you. However, instead of deterring you, their words can even inspire you with a renewed energy that propels and drives you to achieve your dream. While you will almost certainly encounter naysayers on your hero's journey, you are also destined to meet many allies to support you and help you on your journey. No one achieves a dream on his or her own. 
There are untold numbers of people who would support you and go out of their way to help you on the path to your dream. The path to your goal is not always going to be smooth. Obstacles will arise and problems will develop. Every obstacle or challenge you encounter transforms you as you acquire strength of character and the qualities and abilities you need to overcome the obstacle or challenge. The bigger the obstacles and challenges you face, the bigger your success will be, and the closer you are to achieving it. During your hero's journey, you can make mistakes, but when you take responsibility for your failures and mistakes, without blaming anyone else, and you look for the lessons hidden within them, they become powerful tools for your advancement on the hero's journey. There may be trials on the hero's journey, but you're also going to experience the miracles that happen along the way. When the universe starts lining things up for you, it will take your breath away. On the hero's journey there is a final challenge you will face before the reward of success. This has been called the supreme ordeal. It can appear like the death of your dream, but when you arise out of it, your dream is born. The truth is, while the supreme ordeal might sound scary, you probably won't even realize that's what it is when you face it. When you reach this final challenge you are well prepared. To come this far means you have already realized the powerful abilities within you, and you have everything you need to triumph over the supreme ordeal. After having taken every step of the journey, having persisted through the challenges, you can know what it truly feels like to experience the ultimate reward of the moment of success. However, the ultimate reward of the success of your dream does not mark the end of the journey, but the beginning of another. Suddenly, Financial rewards and countless opportunities to expand or build on your dream will flood into your life. You will be filled with excitement and enthusiasm to continue to build on your success and take your dream even further. But this is not the end of your story. There's one more vital step that must be taken to complete the hero's journey, and it's this final step that causes the transformation of a human being into a hero. And that is to do everything you can to use whatever means you have, to help and inspire as many lives as possible with everything you've acquired on your journey. With all the success and all the rewards you have attained, it is when a vision bigger than yourself takes a grip of your heart that the hero from within emerges. Share everything you learned on your journey so that you will make a difference in the lives of as many people as you can. This final step on a hero's journey is not about simply writing a check to a charity. It's about finding a way to give your time, energy, and passion in an area that resonates in your heart. When you do this, you empower them, and there's nothing greater that any one of us can do than to empower another human being with what they need to fulfill their own life. After taking the final step on a hero's journey, you become a whole, holy human being, a true hero. Through your compassion for other people, your mind becomes united with the universe, as your compassion deepens, confusion, suffering, and fear begin to disappear, and in their place comes an intelligence and knowing that is far beyond the knowledge acquired from reading books and getting degrees. With every step you take, with everything you seek to accomplish in your life, with every dream you want to fulfill, you are seeking eternal happiness. And you will continue to seek that eternal happiness, up every hill and down every dale, until eventually, at the end of the hero's journey, you will discover that the eternal happiness you've been looking for is in the discovery of who you really are. Only you can discover the truth about who you really are. Only you can discover the hero within you. Until that time, every day of your life, throughout the eons, the hero within you will continue to call. Here we shall wind up the video. If you like this, hit a like, share it with your friends. Do comments your feedback. Subscribe this channel for more such videos, and hit bell icon to get notified about the latest updates. Be happy, be safe.